This is the homework helper for Chapter 8, Section 4 in the 7th grade workbook, Properties of Circles. Now, as you can see, looking through the questions numbered 1 through 12, they're in chunks, they're based on a specific drawing, and all of those questions in sets of three there are asking me for the same thing. They're giving me a circle and asking me to name the radii, the diameter, and the chords. So let's go ahead and take a look at question number one there. They're asking me to name the parts of circle A. Now remember, a circle is named based on its center. So when they're saying circle A here, they mean A is the center of the circle. Now looking at the circle in question one, what they're asking me to do is label the radii. Well, remember, radius goes from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, the actual curved surface of the circle. So we're looking for any line that starts at A and protrudes to the outside of the circle. So as you can see, I've just moved my pen over going from A to B, because B is on the circle. Going from A to B there is a radius of the circle. So that's going to be one of my answers here. And remember, when we write that, we don't want to just write AB. We want to put the line segment marker over the top, which is just that. It just looks just like a line segment. Also going from A, we can head out towards the edge of the circle towards E. So that's going to be a radius, AE. We can start at the center of the circle and go out to the edge here, which is point G. So we would have AG. We can start at the center of the circle here and go out to D on that line, so from A to D. And that looks like it's about it. Now, obviously, we can't go like from A to F or A to C. Not that it's not possible, but there's simply just not a line drawn there. There has to be a line. Also, this point here that isn't marked, all right, I can't do this and call this a radius because it doesn't go to the edge of the circle. Again, a radius has to go from the center of the circle to the edge. Now, one thing you can do is you can name these in the other direction. It would still be radius. So with AB, you could name that BA. With AE, you could name that EA. AG could be named GA. And AD could be named DA. Let's go ahead and take a look at number two. Number two, they're asking for the diameter of the circle. So a diameter of a circle, that's a line that goes through the center of the circle. So it's also going to have to go through A but it's going to go from edge to edge, so basically all the way across the circle and through the middle. In this illustration, we only have one line that goes all the way across the circle and through the middle, and that's this one that runs from left to right, DE. So we want to call this line segment DE, naming it from edge to edge, or we can name it the other way, ED, doesn't matter. And that's the only diameter we have going on here. We have some other lines that look like they go across the circle, like this one here, some people might say goes across the circle. But the problem is it doesn't go through the center. Diameter also has to go through the center. Chord. Chord is going to go from edge to edge of the circle, but not through the middle. Um, so it's kind of like a diameter, but again, it's not going through the middle. So this one is going to be a line that doesn't go across through A here. So we just talked about one in the form of CF here. It goes across the circle from edge to edge, but not through the middle. So that's going to be a chord. And you could, of course, name that the other way, FC. Um, we've got this line up here across the top. CB goes from edge to edge, but not through the middle. So that's going to be a chord. And again, you can name that the other one the other way, BC. Now, this one here, that does go through the middle, so we can't do that. This one here does go through the middle, can't do that. This one here, though, does not go through the middle. So FG is going to be a chord as well. Again, going from edge to edge, not through the middle here. Um, so uh, that's going to fit now. As far as this line here, this uh, that we marked here, this X point earlier that we talked about, again, it has to go from edge to edge. Um, so it's not just any old line in the circle. This does not ever, from here to here, touch an edge of the circle. So it's out. Um, it would be out simply for the fact that it goes through A would also be a problem there. So that's it. That's all we have for chords. Let's go down and look at a problem that maybe looks a little more complicated here. Let's go down and take a look at 10, 11, and 12. Again, same set of questions, however. They're asking me for, again, radii, diameter, and uh, chords. So let's start again with number 10 here. The radius goes from the center of the circle to the edge. And we've got a bunch of them here. Anything that starts at Z and goes to the edge of the circle is going to be radius. So we've got from Z to U is a radius. It goes from the center of the circle to the edge. We've got from Z to Y. It goes from the center of the circle to the edge, a radius. Z to W goes from the center of the circle to the edge. It's a radius. Z to X goes from the center of the circle to the edge. It's a radius. 
z to y goes from the center of the circle to the edge it's a radius and z to t goes from the center of the circle to the edge it's a radius lots of different radii here and again each one of those can be named in the opposite direction all right now diameter remember diameter has to go all the way across the circle and through the middle here. So if I go ahead and take a look at what I have here that could possibly fit that criteria, I see a couple different lines. I see this line right here going through Z goes all the way across the circle and through the middle. And I see this line here going all the way across the circle and through the middle. And I see this line here that goes all the way across the circle and through the middle. So three different diameters. So we've got uh, what is called here as uh, y of v. Again, I'm naming this from edge to edge based on the letters that are there, y, v. I've got this one here, x, u goes from edge to edge. And again, of course, you could name it the other way though, u, x. And then I've got this one here that runs north, south, t, w. Would also end up being a diameter of the circle because it goes from edge to edge and through the middle. Now in question number 12, they're asking about chords. Again, those are lines that go through the circle, but not through the middle, from edge to edge, but not through the middle. So I see a few of them here that are going to fit that criteria. This line out here is across the circle from edge to edge, but not through the middle. This line right here goes across the circle from edge to edge, curved surface to curved surface, but not through the middle. The lines that we highlighted in red, those all go through the center. So those are really not going to fit the criterion here. So we've got uh, yt is going to be a chord here, and wv, again, I'm naming them based on the endpoints there. And of course, we could name them in the opposite direction, for instance, instead of wv, vw. All right, finally, we'll take a look at question 13. It says the circle graph shows the distribution of ethnic groups in New Zealand. Find the central angle measure of the sector that shows the percent of New Zealanders who are Maori. So what they're really asking you is how many degrees of the circle does this sector that's labeled Maori take up? So what they want to test that you know here is that a circle measures 360 degrees. So if I found the angle measures of all these going around here, they would have to add up to 360 degrees. Well, since the Maori uh, portion is 9.7% of the graph, what they're really saying is 9.7% of the 360 degrees of the circle. You heard me say of there and emphasize it because, of course, of means that I'm multiplying. So what we're going to do to solve this one here is take 9.7% of 360 or multiply 9.7% by 360. Of course, you know I'm not going to do it that way. I'm actually going to write 0 0.097, which is how we change a percent into a decimal moving the decimal two times to the left and eliminating the percent sign. When I do 0.097 times 360 here, 0.097 times 360 changes into 34.92. Translation, if we measure this angle here representing Maori, it's going to be 34.92 degrees.